To understand Bakken Museum, you have to understand Bakken, as in Earl Bakken, the co-founder of Medtronic. He was born in Minneapolis in 1924 with a passion for learning and a fascination with how the electric world fits into the medical world. That was the start of a career driven by a quest to get better. It led to inventions that included the pacemaker, so many contributions. He donated a home that is now a tribute, not just to Bakken, but to a burning desire to get better and to learn. Earl Bakken is just an amazing person. Um, I've had the chance to meet him a few times. He's still alive, he lives in Hawaii, but he would come back to Minnesota a number of times. Of course, you know, as a pioneer in the biomedical industry, we of course want to invite him back to as many functions as we can to thank him for what he's been able to do. Look through the mansion turned museum and it reeks with a sense of Earl Bakken. So this was the first transistorized wearable pacemaker that Earl Bakken invented uh, and that was used initially on um, kids in the 1950s. This is it, huh? This is, well, this is a replica. Of what it was. Of what it was, a very, very accurate replica of what it was. Take the tour and you understand it's not just a look back at history, it's a challenge to students to keep looking and learning and creating. When they're out there fishing around for new ideas, the, what happens is a lot of stuff ends up being used for something else that they didn't envision, which is kind of the whole beauty of just go out there and explore and find indeed, out. Indeed, huh? indeed, that's how it works. That's the idea. Inspire, make it fun for the students, make it fun to teach, bring it all to life. And we're looking to show both the concepts of magnetism and electricity um, but also the history of electricity in Minneapolis. So at this particular table, we're giving uh, visitors, especially our younger visitors, the opportunity to take wires and go from their generators to their substations and then hook them up to their utility poles and then out to their houses and businesses. And when they do that, um, they will light up the whole city. It is here you get a sense of a young man who was constantly wondering what could be done next with electricity and for mankind. That's why he has an education wing with a teacher for students and projects. So Jenny, the inventor of this uh, invention, had something she was trying to do to make at least her life better. Yeah. What do you think this invention was for? I, I'm trying to think and I have no clue. Well, imagine you have siblings. What's the one thing you would love to have an invention to solve? To get him out of my room. Exactly. This is a brother keeper router. So Jenny made an invention that anytime her brother would try to sneak into her room, she'd hear the alarm, she'd run upstairs, Mom, Dad, he's in my room you, again. You could retail this all over the country right now. I know. Yes, this is the epitome of what Earl would want. A place where creative kids go, not just to nourish ideas, but to make them a reality. And it is here that high school kids can find a form of internships where their scientific spirit is lined up with possibility. So what is this that you're doing right here? Right now, um, someone gives me a piece of paper that I could um, make a button with, yep. and I have to use this. And so you're creating this? Yeah, I create yep. this, and we sell these at the stores because people are interested in the things that, on the buttons. It all comes together to marvel at, to learn from, to gain a sense of possibility. This is one of the exhibit items that we want to make sure everybody sees when they come to the Bakken. It's our Electricity is Life machine. And what it does is it runs a small amount of electricity through your body. Of course, historically people used to think that would make you healthy or better. So if you're feeling sick or tired, right. you just need a little bit of electricity. Now we so, call it coffee? Exactly, now we call it coffee. Earl Bakken is 91 years old. He lives in Hawaii. Still active and still engaged, but his awe-inspiring legacy lives here, in Minneapolis, okay. where a kid proved big dreams and big ideas are the key to the country moving forward, and where you can create anything, and I mean anything. What do you got there? Um, since I've been working here, um, I've been making buttons, and I want this to be for you. Oh, this is a great button. I've never seen one like this before. Now this will take off and have a shelf life. When we come back, we'll wrap up this edition of Life to the Max Stingler. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.